I'm gonna make a drink from this very old book. That's right, the book is back and it's time to make a drink from inside of it. And I've found one. Let's make an everybody's Irish. Everyone. You, me, the Lord. Naked boy. Much better. This drink starts with Irish whiskey as it would. Make sure you spill it everywhere. A little bit of green chartreuse. Chartreuse can be green, it can be yellow. It's a very herbal liqueur, very rooty. And while it says to use green creme de menthe, I don't have green creme de menthe, I have white creme de menthe. So we'll use a bit of green food colouring. Just the two drops shall do. Just the two drops shall do. Now we need some ice, so here's Grandma to help us out. Wake up, old woman. We'll add some of Grandma's chilly willy bones into the glass. And say no nice to Grandma. No nice, no, old woman. We'll pop our spoon in. Give it a cheeky little stir. Worryingly green. Here's a wee little Nick and Nora glass. Pop our strainer in and strain away. It says to garnish it with an olive, but I simply can't think of anything more disgusting, so I'm not going to. Instead, I'll clean up a little bit because we're respectful in this house. And hey, that's an everybody's Irish. Hey, cheers now, book. Mmm. No, not really. Not really. I'll be honest, not... Not really. There's no sweetness. We put a tiny, tiny bit of creme de menthe in, which is basically sweet alcoholic toothpaste. But that's now clashing with the herbal chartreuse. See, sometimes I'm shocked by this book in a good way. Tonight, disappointed. Hey, by the way, my face is still available if you want to spill liquids all inside of my crevices. Ta-ta and goodbye now. Good evening. Oh, you've got glasses on.